welcome back to my channel and this video styling my capsule wardrobe with lots of autumn outfit ideas. Hopefully you saw my video last week where I created my capsule wardrobe. I think I managed to get it down to about 68 pieces, so I was pretty impressed with myself for that. Well in this video I wanted to share with you a whole host of outfit ideas just using that rail of clothes. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, it'd be really lovely if you could do so. And when you press the bell button beside it, make sure you've got all tapped on that, which will just let you know once or twice a week when I've uploaded a new video. Okay, let me get straight to outfit number one so I can hopefully squeeze in as many as possible. You know we've got to autumn when the boots finally come out of the attic again. It actually feels nice to have them back in my collection. I do like these western boots actually. They're the perfect shape and a really nice height actually to be able to walk around in them all day long. So I've got a pair of straight leg Everlane jeans in a light wash denim and I've paired them with a grey t-shirt that I got from Arquette. I really love this herringbone tweed against light wash denim. I think that works really nicely. And then just tying in that element of black with my boots and the little bit of cough here with a black handbag. I do tend to go for slightly oversized looking blazers with that more androgynous look, mainly because I like the length of them just slightly covering my bum. Cropped blazers will be a bit of a trend for this autumn winter. Personally, I'm not hugely keen. I will be sticking with this sort of length because I think it suits me better. But if you're looking for a new blazer and want it to go particularly on trend, cropped blazers are one of the big hitters for autumn winter. Now if you don't already own a denim midi skirt, I can highly recommend you invest in one for this autumn winter, as it's gonna be one of the biggest trends. I've actually written a blog post with all my favorite denim skirts that are out there at the moment, both with the high street, the designers, and the independent stores. But at the end of this video, if you'd like to have a read of that blog post, I shall add a link in the description box below. Now as you can see, I've done a bit of a color block here with the baby blue tying in really nicely with that light denim wash. I really love these giant oversized snuggly sweaters worn with a denim skirt. I think it's a really, really nice look, particularly for this autumn. Now, as you can see, mine is quite thick and oversized, but I've just done a bit of a half tuck at the front here and just loosely left it sort of hanging down at the back. The other thing I really like about this outfit is adding my long boots, particularly in that contrasting tone. So a very cozy autumn outfit that's using pieces from my capsule wardrobe that are particularly on trend for this season. So this is actually the Reformation dress that I decided to keep in if I could style it in a few different ways, which I've definitely realized I can. But in this outfit, I have layered a cashmere sweater over the top of the dress. You could obviously wear this without a jacket as well if it's not quite that cold. I really like the line and the drape of the skirt portion of this dress. Um, I think it's got a really nice flow to it actually. So just doubling it up, either putting a jumper, a t-shirt, even a blouse tied in a knot over the top, enables me to wear it in lots of different ways, which is what we like. But preempting our slightly colder autumn compared to probably lots of you, I've added my leather jacket over the top as well. I really didn't want my shoes to stand out as such. I want that clean line all the way from the waistband where the skirt portion flows down. So just keeping it really simple with a pair of black tights and the ankle boots again. Now one way to instantly elevate an outfit and make it look and feel more expensive and elegant is to colour block. But hopefully, as I'm showing you here, they don't have to be the exact tones, just along a similar train of thought. So bearing in mind this is autumn we're dressing for, and although it's getting colder, it's not super cold. So on my top half, I've added a polar neck, but it is just a pure cotton one. So it's going to be nice and breathable. If the sun comes out like it keeps doing today, we can have it with my light, or it's gonna keep me warm if it goes a little bit cooler. So I will link some of my favorites made from a similar fabric in the description box below. These are a new pair of trousers that I bought recently from H&M. They are made from tensile fabric. I've added my little belly flats on my feet, my camel coat, which has become quite a staple in my wardrobe. It seems to be a trend that is still going for this autumn winter as well. But to be honest, it is such a classic, I don't think you're ever going to regret buying a nice camel coat. And then just finished with my Plen Numero Set handbag, which obviously ties in really nicely with all those lovely camel tones. 
So with a few little style tips, I really wanted to show you how you can make those quite smart pair of trousers into a much more relaxed outfit. So all I've done is a little bit of a turn up on the hem of the trousers that instantly makes them feel more relaxed. Added my white trainers, which tie in nicely with my top, but it doesn't have to be white trainers. It could be black and wear a black jumper on the top. I've particularly gone with this jumper because vintage, slightly granny-fied sweaters and cardigans are having a bit of a thing this autumn winter. It will be one of the trends that we will be seeing. And this one with the open work detail fits the bill perfectly. In fact, Suzanne actually are particularly good for these types of sweaters. I will link a few of my favorites in the description box below because they do naturally do this style really well. Them and in Parfait Paris if you want to go with something secondhand. So any smart trousers that you might have in your wardrobe, let's say you save them specifically for workwear, try and look at them in a new light because there's often at least another couple of ways to wear them just with a few little style touches. I think this is one of my favorite outfits I've created so far today. And I'd say that's down to all those beautiful, soft, gentle, pretty tones blending together. I just feel like it's really feminine and elegant and elevated all at the same time. Even though this is quite a dressed down outfit, it feels really put together. So if you have got any camel and blush in your own wardrobe, have a little play with them in front of the mirror and see what outfits you can make. So this is just a cashmere crew neck and camel with my light wash denim jeans. And on my feet, I'm just wearing the light taupe flats again. But having the addition of the blush on top of all those tones really lifts the colors back out again and makes the whole outfit feel more vibrant somehow. I'd actually really like to add a little bit more blush into my capsule wardrobe. I wouldn't say it's particularly on trend this season, it's just a tone that I happen to really love. So I'll have a little search of the high street and some of the designers and if I find any good pieces I will link them as always in the description box below. It doesn't have to be boring down with an all black outfit. In actual fact, I think there's beauty in the simplicity of looks like this. Just think carefully about the textures and the shapes that you integrate into an outfit like this. So I'm wearing a pure cashmere jumper that's got quite an A-line shape to it. It's a little bit unusual and three quarter length turn back sleeves. And I think that wide shape and texture sat against the quite slim line silk like tensile trousers works really nicely as a contrast. On my feet, I've just got a pair of loafers that I got from H&M. They're super simple. The only detail, of course, is that gold bit of hardware across the toe, which I think ties in nicely with a little flash of gold coming from the handbag. And then, of course, that leather sat against the cashmere with the silkiness of the trousers. I think it all blends together really nicely in a very subtle but beautiful way. Another nice idea with an all black outfit, particularly if it's quite transitional type weather, it's not cold enough yet to wear a coat, but equally you feel the need to have something with you to keep you warm, is just to add a pop of color with something like a scarf. It can actually end up elevating a really simple outfit. So all I'm wearing underneath is a plain black t-shirt with my black trousers and little belly flats. By adding a really gorgeous contrasting scarf over the top, it takes the whole outfit up a notch or two. I've gone for a similar tone by opting for my bucket bag. Now, obviously there are so many different ways you could style a scarf, but I've just swung it around my neck and left the long bit hanging down. I quite like it like that. The other way I really like to style scarves is just to do around the back and let those two lengths come down. But yes, I think just a pop of color makes a very simple outfit a little bit more elevated. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, I hope you've got lots of outfit ideas that I've made from my capsule wardrobe for this autumn. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Do let me know your favorite outfit I put together or maybe you've got some other ideas you'd like to share with the other subscribers. It's always lovely to hear from you. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it'd be really lovely if you could subscribe to my channel if you're not already and make sure you press all on the notifications so you're reminded when I've uploaded a new video Video, which is once or twice a week. Have a great few days and I will see you on Wednesday with lots more gorgeous fashion. Take care.